I had a good session with Heidi and Rory. I don't feel like there's that loving feeling. If this was important to him, then he would initiate it. We talked about a lot of tips for creating more romance. He just needs instructions. That's why they like instruction manuals. Let's find out more about what I really think was going on in the play-by-play. -play. I don't feel like there's that loving feeling. He treats me like one of the guys. He's just sarcastic with me all the time. You can see here from the beginning, their body language <laughs> says a lot about them and the differences between them because Heidi's a lot more bubbly. She's leaning forward, she's engaged, she's moving around, and Rory's sitting back. He's got much more of a quiet expression, except for a little chuckle, you know, that he gives. But he's much more reserved and laid back than she is. Do you know what she means by tender and romantic and what that looks like. Yeah, I've been learning because she pretty much tells me what she wants me to tell her. If this was important to him, then he would initiate it. These two are perfect specimens if you want to know the typical male and the typical female. They have very classic personalities and needs. I don't want perfection. I just, I, and I know that he's trying and that makes me feel bad that when I have to walk him through the steps, it creates these arguments because then he gets defensive. Feeling good about a relationship is not just getting the appreciation you need, but also choosing to be appreciative of what you have. You gotta, go easier on him okay and get softer with him okay. and more appreciative heidi is so focused on what she's not getting from rory that that's all the energy she's putting out there to him if she could just lower her expectations and look at what she does have and focus on that appreciation not only will she be happier but he will feel her happiness and then she's actually gonna get more of what she needs. Moving to a place of appreciation for what he is doing, you're gonna fuel a lot of his romantic fires. Okay. Yeah, I'm like Don Juan in here. Yeah, next time I check in with you, he's going to be taking you dancing with a rose in his teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> if this was important to him, then he would initiate it. I try to remember to initiate it or to take time to listen, and talk to her, but. I don't always remember. Rory's a classic guy, but he is not the caveman that you think. And he definitely has a sensitive side, a sweet side, a loving side. He just doesn't know how to express it in a way that Heidi can understand. However, he's at an extra disadvantage because honestly, Heidi has very unrealistic expectations of what romance looks like. I mean, she wants what we see in the rom-coms and chick flicks, and it's especially unrealistic with a guy like Rory. You know what would be great, Heidi, is if you made a list of as many romantic gestures that you can imagine. And then, Rory, every day you give her five appreciations and one gesture on the list. I would love that. That would be great. Heidi literally lights up at the idea of coming up with a list of what would be romantic gestures for her. It's sort of like the instruction manual that's been missing. So he knows exactly what to do. Part of this is that because it doesn't come naturally, because this is like learning Chinese for him, it's a habit that you have to create, Rory. It takes six to eight weeks to create a new habit. And that's what I'm asking of Rory. So we gotta mark our calendars. It's quite a long way until then. These two have so much going for them and are clearly very much in love. Now it's about creating new habits so they can love each other in a way that lands. To see more Couples in Crisis, subscribe or watch another episode right now. And check out Daily Dose with Jillian Michaels, where America's favorite trainer gives you a piece of her mind every day.